Math. Okay, you got Gold Master Kalisa. I'm going to be playing uh, Blood Elf Warlock. Well, let's roll for first on the dice over on the side of the screen. Well, I got a 20. Don't, don't even bother rolling. I'll just take it. I can't believe you rolled. <laughs> I'll take first. I win. Heads. I'll keep this hand. Sounds good. Just, yeah, I still gotta get the hero flips on a on a number of the heroes. We'll get there. Um, you keeping? Yeah. He's keeping. Let's go forces so I can play an ability later. Pay one. Dark bargain you. Go ahead and look at your hand and rip. It's like a thought seize basically, except I punch myself quite a bit. Quite a bit. Alright, you got a question. So, three resources, multiple Vuzdins, who cares? An Edwin, how annoying. And then an Edge of Oblivion, also how annoying. Let's do the Edge of Oblivion. Just, uh, was it exile it? Yeah, it's exiled. I'll take four. Boop. And we'll pass the turn. How do you like that? Thoughtsies. Thoughtsies with more damage. Right. Ooh, well. I mean, I've played a number of games where I Thoughtsies turn one and had four damage, so it kind of it kind of feels blood crypty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, let's create a one one. So I'll stash this. So, just, do I, so I, should I play that up and then flip it to show that it's? Uh... Yeah, that's the correct play. Um. Until we get some tokens, you might just want to clone him. One, one. Got it. We're gonna go. Uh, In turn. Well, we'll place a resource pass. With, oops, wrong button. I didn't mean to go there. Draw a card. It won't affect our play. Uh, back to you. Resource. You also have your hero flip. That's This deck is built to have a turn two hero flip. If it's worth it. I mean, you don't have to, but I saw your hand. Discard a Vuzdin to make a 3-3. Three, three. Gotcha. Attack you for one. Take one. You might as well just flip your hero up. We all get these flipped. Go ahead. Let me see if I can take some more damage. I'm going to life tap for two. Straight out of Hearthstone. Wait, is that the right order? I don't know. Then I'll draw one for turn. Let's untap. And that button's not working. Oh, I think it's because it's your turn. Maybe that's why. Guess it doesn't like that. So, yeah, you better play by the rules, man. Like, uh, okay. That's the one that matters. Gotta find ourselves a resource here. Maybe this is just like it's a backup one of these. Um, I can already get two charges on it, so as I can complete Teratha's right now and flip over his quest to prevent him from drawing one. Might even be worth it. But I kind of want to heal more. It's more interesting to me since I'm gonna be taking so much damage. Got some decisions here. We're going to play Last Relic. Welcome to that card. This should be your first experience, I think. 
Oh boy, so I think we're gonna go ahead and eat your quest. I wanna do that now. Um, it'll make my quest cheaper. This is like a mount, but it can't die and it heals an obscene amount. Yeah, we'll uh, flip this quest over here so we get to eat your quest. Uh, cool, pass. Man, I'll heal three. Seems good. Untap, draw. I want to keep our health total kind of high this game because we don't have a Silver Moon City, so we're just going to smash our own face with this soon. Yeah, yeah double nightfalls here. I don't think I need to like win anytime soon. I drew Thrall, so I uh, just sit back and become Thrall. And as long as we, my opponent doesn't have a Protector when we play, and we can start smashing his face, then we can actually start making five fives. But if our opponent has Protectors when we play Thrall, it might be an issue because he might just have an obscene board. Although we have a card or two that help with our opponent's right, not getting a good board. I don't know, if you're playing that deck, the right play is, like, get to four mana and just start start throwing bricks. Me, Death yeah. Knight. No, I should have... Well, the ultimate play is we stash this. Clone J. Play a Tuscar Kite. Ooh, we're Kite. drawing. Okay. Attack. Take Attack four, draw. Four. Yeah. That's way better than when you play the right line. And pass. Hit E, not R. Fuck, what does R do? Hopefully nothing. R, R uh, bounces card back to your hand. Make sure you get your token out of him. Alright, we're untapping. We're drawing. <coughs> oh. Boom. Let's go ahead and life tap. Take two. Draw two. Get ourselves a second resource. Let's go ahead and complete this one for free. I like this. Just pay zero, draw a card, heal three. Or do you life tap on your turn? Yeah. Main phase life tap. Draw a card, heal some stuff. Um, let's basically thought seize you again. Heal three. I did. Real. Hmm. Yeah, corpse explosion. I don't really care that much. Vuzdin, who cares? Let's just get rid of Edwin. He's like the best card there. Goodbye. No. That card was going to come out next turn. And we'll pass to you. Okay, I muted myself here. Uh, I could have just left the Edwin in his hand, let him play it out, and the obvious play, but he's not real familiar with my deck yet, so this is kind of a gotcha turn. I think in a, in a more competitive match, once he knows the deck, he wouldn't... Um. Flood the board out knowing I have a deck filled Back with for five. shuffleable wraths. Just yeah, take it. Take it. Joke's on you. You're bad at this game. Oh, all right. Don't even bother getting the tokens. I'm gonna wipe your board. Um, but I, I need one token to tack to trigger my Tuscar pipe before you. It's all good. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna untap, and you get to see what this deck's all about. I feel like I was leading into like a real dumb rhyme. Just I don't I don't know where we're <laughs> I don't know where we're going with that. It's great. Let's see. Do I want to get rid of both banishes and like maybe I just leave pretzels. Two nightfalls got to be enough, and I can just get rid of a banish in a turn or two if it's still bad. But I want to be able to banish a kite plus a f whatever else you might have, and then I've got plenty of removal. So I'll put this into play, face down. Um, let's pay one. Actually, I think I want to save a life. Yeah, that, that I'd prefer that. So I'll do this for four. Welcome to this card, Boundless Eternal Hellfire. So um, this deals X damage to everything, equal to my resources, and then it reshuffles. So this is the win condition and the sweeper. What Dark a card. Type. 
Into response. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna cut your dude. And then all this goes away. Good. Yeah, and your hero will take four, so will mine. I'm at 15. Oh, gorsh. Right, what's the hotkey for that? Is it, uh, is it... Uh, Y... Y is bottom. T for top, T for top, okay. T for top. And then shuffle with Victor. Alright, now we'll throw down our resource. Get in there. Pass back. Going into turn five on the draw. This deck's interesting, but it doesn't quite play the same as when I was so good earlier. Did you see that when I only powered you? Man. Man. <laughs> it's like it's like the same sound you you know you you make when someone plays the unholy power. Meh. <laughs> Play that card. Yeah, just gonna hook the mount up to the kite. Just see see how that works out. Let's play that card, cause why not? Pass turn. See what your dumb deck's all about. Like probably stupid. Why he's calling my deck dumb? What the heck? Gotta check my life total real quick. This is a two. He had a corpse explosion earlier. It still hurts. Still four damage. I'm really more afraid of all his five and six drops. So I'm worried if I... Make, I think I want to banish the kite, though. That's what's going to win him the game. I'll, I'll heal up here soon. I'll heal. Alright. Alright, sitting on six resources now. There we go. Oh yeah, I don't know why I did that. Cool. Uh, that's three resources to banish your kite. You can respond, it's cool. Respond! Where's all my quests? I got like 23. You got it. And then I'm just going to throw it over here. Sitting in play. I don't really see a reason to shoot anything for three. It just doesn't do anything. Um, off with my hero. Oh, I so, exiled it. Am I, am I not supposed to do that? It's fine. It's like it's like Oblivion Ring, so it stays under it in case you ever pop this thing. So that's probably easiest just to sit it like right on top of it right over there. The right card. Yeah. Alright, so when you're ready, I'm going to flip my hero. Uh, you discard a random card. You're having some Unless issues. Yeah, yeah, it looks it looks like that, it. That goes there. <laughs> it's cool. we got to learn this stuff. The, where the hell is this card I'm trying to put underneath this? Where's my kite? Oh, it's on the board. I'm retarded. There we go. It's all good. Alright, um, discard a random card. Just There's got to be a way to do that in here. Select random. Yeah, just click the sandwich in your hand and hit random. And or I'll just send the one card I have. Well, you kited, didn't you? You had a, I think you had a corpse explosion in your hand, and then you kited. Uh, so I got all kind of bejungled. All right. Yeah. So between the Savandra and the corpse explosions, I'll flip, flip a coin or something, um, and then I'm done. Good. Figure out how to reveal these. I'll face off. Face off. Face off. There it is. Send a hand. And send eat a pass. Hand. Hamburger. Select random. And just throw it out. There we go. Alright, it was the corpse explosion all along. Now it's my turn. It's your turn. Awesome. That's Untap. it. You got a horse and a troll with with a face. He can't even see what he's doing. That is such a man, how embarrassing. Like how do they expect him to go out there? He can't even he can't even participate. He's just got little Pokemon all over his face, can't even see. He's surrounded by undead, like he's got work to do. Which ironic he's in you know 
He he Undead doesn't like guard. look like he likes undead, but he's you know kind of. Bang. Ooh, that one hurts. Damn it. Well, five you. Oh gosh. Set two you after that, so seven total. PS turn. All right, that should look correct. Yeah, one tap over here. Draw a card. Now, life total is a big concern. We get to nightfall for for seven this turn. Nightfall the next turn for eight something for nine and eventually get to thrall so that's our play i think we just nightfall the crap out of this vuzden don't play this quest but maybe we just play it face down it's not really how our deck's supposed to go but i don't want to give my opponent two one ones right now it's really showing how this quest is risky uh, let's do some math if we give my opponent some one ones i guess to swing for this will be four next turn this guy will be dead that'll put me at 26 but i've healed seven so i'm actually at 19 and even if he flips and play, you know, if he not flips, but he uses this thing to ping me for another three, he needs like a what a Garrosh will do five. Plus, if I give him these free one ones, I think I have enough. I just need to wait it out. I'm gonna play it face down. All right, we're in it. Okay, a uh, little debate there. There, we're going to seven resources, and we're just gonna pay seven to drain life, fireball your Vuzden for seven and heal seven. That guy's dead. He is, and I'll heal seven. Wait a minute. Am I stupid, chat? Hold on. This gives me... I forgot I have a last relic, so this thing is a lot easier to complete, and it heals me. Man, I don't know. Here's my quest. I want you to see like what I have this dilemma here. I put this one of, because I have a bunch of sweepers. So do I have to give you tokens? Like, right now. My health's so low. I just seem so risky, even with the last relic, because I could complete it for two, which means I'm only night falling you for five, and then you get two one one, so it's like I'm only doing it for three. And then, but you you heal three in total, so you heal eight total, but you still give me two. But, but you also get two 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 cards versus my two one one. That's true. I draw some I draw some cards here. And it depends. Do you have like do you have a sweeper in your hand? It, that my play was to play it face down, so I'm gonna stick with that for now. But I do think it's an interesting decision to deal with. So, yeah, I mean that would also depend on your cards. Like if I had like a, a low sleeper a sweeper, then it's definitely you know I'd probably play it play up maybe. Yeah, but I but don't. Then, so that's why like it's the, yeah. Okay, uh, that makes sense. Yeah, we seven. Your guy was at twenty two. So fifteen down to fifteen. Didn't mean to interrupt myself there. Yeah, your guy's dead. Cool. Pass back. Untap. I think Wild TCG is so interesting. You got a lot of decisions like this. You just get to look at these cards that are nuts, and it's like, man, if these were in Magic, you know, they'd be busted. People would have found out about it, or at least in internal, people would have. Um, for you. For me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take four from the axe. Play this card. See you, horse. You did nothing. I guess that's like a matchup thing. Like the horse rode the kite for a little bit. Oh wait, oh, yeah, your kite's gone. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah, it turns into nice kite kite fodder later. It's three three that dodges a bunch of board wipes. It's pretty sweet. Play this face up. Oh, we got a game. And then. I think I'm going to shuffle graveyard and draw. Can't do anything else. So yeah, we'll do that. Shuffle. Both players. Yeah, this is yeah. graveyard. Hey, a lot of decks have, you know, spider solitaire like synergy. That. A bunch of life taps and discard. Just what I wanted. Uh. <laughs> and then they go to the... Yeah, just shuffle them in. And Victor to shuffle. Ooh. 
We well, did it. All right, and then I get the draw card. Boom. So if I did that play, you would have hit me for two more here. 19. I'd but be at you'd 21. Be, you'd, you'd be at 18, though, so you'd be at 20. Remember, you'd have healed three. Yeah, it was a plus one man. Okay, so I'd I'd be at 18 after your 1-1s one hit me. Got it. Um, cool, let's untap. Hmm, interesting payoff. That was cool. Big fan of that. This deck's filled with quests, so it feels good when you draw the quests. Like, oh, well, yeah, that's all right. Hey, welcome back. What are you, what are you guys doing over there? I remember you guys. I have a good idea. Oh, watch this. You want to watch me not die this turn? I'd prefer if you died. I guess that doesn't work. I don't know how to... I'm going to remove this counter now. don't know how to tap the whole box worth yet. Um, yeah, we're just going to kill your guy. Let's shoot him for eight and heal a ton. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Pass back. Yes. Untap. Draw. Great, so next turn, regardless of what we draw, we're going up to 9 mana, and then we can just rediscover to heal, find some other good quest to draw more, heal off of that. Man, this deck's good when your stuff just sits in play and your opponent's cards don't matter. Uh, we've got a Mazukan to start hitting face, we've got we got a Master Hero. We drew the Master Hero, so we knew our strategy from, from turn 1. Well, that guy's really bad versus my Nightfalls. I'm so glad that I already healed... Uh, like 18 from those, or 17 or something. I'll make those one ones. And then I'm going to do my quest and flip your quest over. I didn't even think about that. Brad, what are you thinking? That ruins my game plan. I also get one counter on my so... No counters. Oh, it's not a counter, it's just a removal. I see. But it's tap, and these are one ones, and we attack you for three. Take it. Faster. Plans are foiled, but not looking at my opponent's quest. Untap, draw. Man, that, this card looks real bad this turn. Oops, that stays. Alright, we'll go to nine resources there. I'm waiting on like a 10 drop or 12 drop hero or some shit. <laughs> it's got finishers. We'll pay 6 for this card. Remember this guy? He was big back in the days. Uh, I can either go face or I can... What, eat a token? I don't know how good eating a token is. Um, but I don't want your guy to hit me for the rest of the game, so I think that's got to be the plan. Otherwise, I could pump 12 into your hero over the next couple turns, which is, which is huge. Uh, let's try to attack Edwin, and you can just protect... I thought stealth, he couldn't be attacked either. No, that's Hearthstone. Um, stealth is when you dodge protectors. You just go under. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I just attack. You use one of your 1-1 one -one protectors. We're good. Pass back. And untap. So I was actually even thinking last turn Draw that card. I should have just nightfalled for, um, for one mana less because it was only one mana to complete that quest. I didn't even... I wasn't even looking at my okay. opponent's board. My mistake, but regardless... Um, I should have probably kept that open so that at the end of his turn, I could have had healed an immediate I three he wouldn't be expecting. Oh, you're playing yours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, let's see here. You have one card. So the play is to attack Edwin into it. Yeah, dies. Here's the clone. Edwin dies. Attack this into that. And kill the clone, and then I have my own clone. Yeah, and a one-one. Okay, kill my clone, kill my guy, and this seven, is your clone. Nine you total. Take two here, and then seven, one, and then another six here. I wonder if you're you're actually just dead if I attacked your face. I'm so dumb. <laughs> no, no, because you wouldn't have. Well, no, I'm five short. You actually that's exactly math is hard sometimes. 
Wow, Mazakan off the top would have killed me. And I, I misplayed a turn earlier. I shouldn't have let you eat my quest. Um, Alright, we'll see if that misplay comes into effect. Let me draw this card that doesn't matter at all, and then play the card I've had in my hand since turn one. Here's the finisher. Okay, we go up to 40 health. Bad for you. Alright, he it doesn't like that. Uh, real bad for you, actually. We're going to smash your face for five. And then I get a 5-5 five, five protector. So that's that's what we're looking at here until the end of the game. Um, I'll spawn a protector back to your turn. So this goes to one. Untap all. Draw. Protect. Okay. I'm trying to find some kind of dude. That'll work. All right, this is just a five-five Earth Elemental Protector. Oh, that might even be a card. Kinda. That's like not, not really. It's all good. We'll, we'll get some tokens in there. So I'm gonna attack the five-five for six. Got it. Attack. Yeah, Protector attack. dies. And then the five, two. five, two, three, four, five, and then two more. Oh no, just one from the. Uh... Wait, is this a one, one? I just took too much damage. Uh, yeah, it's two damage total. The axe and the twenty four, and then twenty five. Gotcha. And then you've got a Mazakon with low health. I got a second Mazakon, and he's coming in hard too for six. Oh, you're playing a new one. Oh, man. He's nuts. Yeah. And that's a turn. It is. Let's untap here. Let's draw one card. Got mid five. Uh, we'll start with that. Don't forget you have an Undercity. Life totals might matter this game. Speaking of that, let's Restless Dead away your Undercity. You have mid five, brother. Oh, yeah. Thanks. 26 right there. Mended 5. Uh, Restless Dead. Oh, I only paid 2 for that. Got it. So, shuffle your graveyard, shuffle mine. Oh, that's not the flip one. Never mind. Flip that back over. Shuffle. Oh, it shuffles them in the discard pile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. A little helpful. Draw one off that. Healed our three. Oh, let me check your health total real quick. Twenty-nine. Ah. This is gonna be nice. Oh, this is a fresh Mazukan, so he gets a corpse, right? He gets to come out. Yeah, he does. So that'll be. Wow, it's like dang. There's so many things kill me here, but I have to do something. Um, it's got to be the play. We bound this Hellfire the board for eleven, and I'm gonna. Not shuffle that. I don't really want to draw that card again. It kills me. Clone. That's gone. Yep, I'll go up to 34. Uh, and then I'll smash your hero for 5. Make a protector. He's back. And we'll pass to you. That axe is gone. Untap. Draw. So you have a 6-6 six, six in play. I have a 5-5 five, five protector. That's our game right now. I have 6 health. You're the third one. Oh, <laughs> Alright. <laughs> hey man, you beat me through two sweepers and a master hero. Discarding all your best cards. This is what I had in my hand as well. I mean, I'm not even an ally deck and it still did well. Alright, that was game one. Let's try game two. You, the secret's out, you know what this deck does.